So we take a partition of A and B. Huh? Let P be a partition of A cross B. Then this P must be the Cartesian product of P A and P B. Okay, you part. You take a partition of A. Okay, you take a partition of A here, and you take a partition of B. Then you will obtain a partition of the Cartesian product rectangle A and B, A cross B. So you obtain the right. So this blue segment demonstrates a partition of the Cartesian product rectangle A cross B. So every partition of the Cartesian product rectangle A cross B can be obtained in this way. Ah. Every partition of A cross B give you a partition of A and a partition of B. Uh, conversely, a partition of A and uh, another partition of B will determine the a partition of the Cartesian product rectangle A cross B. Okay? So, let P be a partition of A cross B, then P can be written in this way. So, uh, Uh, the relation is that if J A is a partition, uh, is a sub rectangle for the partition of A, and J B is a sub rectangle in the partition of B, then J A Cartesian product with J B is a partition of P. Okay. Go back to our picture here. So uh, the partition of A horizontal direction, I I this is a PA, okay? A GA. This this letter uh, part is the is a partition, uh, is a sub rectangle of A given by the partition of A we uh, denoted by the dots, okay? And uh, similarly, uh, a partition of B, here is a sub rectangle for the partition of B. Ah, no. JB. And the Cartesian product of these two rectangles determine a, part a sub rectangle of A and B, A, A, A cross B, that is here. The red uh, said, said the uh, rectangle is a sub rectangle of A cross B. Ah, uh, okay. Determined by the J A and the J B. Uh, this is the rectangle J A cross J B. Okay. So, uh, we have this result. Uh, very easy. Now, we will show that the first step of the proof is that uh, maybe I don't want to number the, my argument. So the first step is that the lower sum of f with respect to p will not greater than the lower sum of i minus p a. Okay. F is uh, an n plus n dimen uh, variable function, so it has a as a function of the a cross b. Uh, under the partition p of a cross b, uh, you can compute the lower sum, and the i minus and the i plus. But we, we here we consider i minus. I minus is a function uh, defined on the rectangle a. Then we have a partition p a, which of the rectangle a, we can also compute the lower sum. Uh, we prove that their relation is that uh, the f, the lower sum of f, will not greater than the lower sum of i minus. So take 
GA cross GAB belongs to the partition P. Uh, we consider the case if X is a point in GA. Then what we have? We have M GA cross GAB F. We will not greater than FXY. This is true for any Y in GAB. Okay? For any Y in GAB. Because uh, the left hand side is the infinement of F over the product rectangle GA cross GAB. So maybe I will draw a picture here. This is GA. This is GAB. X is fixed upon in GA. So for when y runs through GAB, for every y in GAB, uh, you have this red uh, segment. Uh, so the fxy, x is fixed. x is upon the in GA. Obviously, the value of f in every point in this segment is not less than the uh, infinite of f over the whole rectangle. Okay. So our this inequality is true. But since this is true for every y in GAB, we can take infinite, uh, which is back to y. The left hand side of this inequality does not depend on y. So when you take infinite, the left hand side will not change. But the right hand side, x is fixed, let y change. Uh, this is a new function. The value of this new function is at y is fxy. Such function, hey, two, 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 oh, no. Okay. This function we usually denote by fx. So this symbol, this notation fx dot means a two variable function x and y of course our x and y are higher dimensional point but we fix x and let y change okay such a function we always usually denote by fx dot meaning the x is fixed but y change okay so in the previous inequality in this inequality we let y change and take infinite man. the left hand side is unchanged, but the right hand side will be the infinite of this function. Okay, so we have this inequality. Ah, very easy. Now we multiply both sides of this inequality by the volume of GAB. By the volume of GB and the sum up, what we get? We get GB, GA cross GB, F. Volume of GB will not greater than the sum. Okay, this is simply multiplying both sides of the last inequality in the last line of this page, uh, which is the, this inequality. Okay, which is the uh, volume of JB and then sum up, uh, which is respect to JB. Uh, okay, so we get this result. So this result, the the left hand, the right hand side. What's the left hand side? The left hand side is a lower sum because it is an infinite. Uh, so the low, the right hand side, right hand side is the lower sum of this function of y, uh, which is back to the partition of B, P B, and uh, this lower sum, of course, this lower sum will not greater than the uh, uh, lower integral of this function. 
Lower integral of this function. Ah, a lower sum of this function will not greater than the lower integral of this function. This function is uh, uh, x is fixed, therefore this is a function of y. So okay, so this is precisely i minus x. So we obtain this inequality. Now we multiplied uh, sorry. Uh, this is true for every x in GA. Uh, our x is taken arbitrarily in GA here. Okay? Okay? Uh, the x is arbitrarily in GA. So our resulting inequality is true for every x in GA. So we can take the infinement on both sides which respect to x in GA. Ah, taking infinite, we obtain the, uh, the right hand side, the left hand side unchanged. Ah, we, we, we copy the left hand side. And then the left hand side, the right hand side become, the right hand side become the volume. Uh, sorry. The infinement of i minus over g a. Okay, so the the above inequality let x change in g a and take infinite. We obtain this inequality. Okay, now we multiplying both sides of this inequality by the volume of g g a. Multiplying the volume of g a. And then sum up. Okay? And then sum over GA. What's this? Now, this is precisely the volume of GA cross GAB. Uh, sorry, uh, not GA cross GAB. The volume of, yes, yes, sorry, GA cross GAB. A uh, GA cross GAB is a sub rectangle in the partition of A cross B. Let's go back to this picture. GA cross GAB is rectangle of this form. Of this form. Okay? And uh, all the sub, sub rectangle of, G of A cross B uh, is of this form. Okay? So, when uh, so when uh, when we sum up the right, the left hand side is nothing but the lower sum of our function f, which is back to the partition p of the uh, Cartesian product rectangle a cross b, and uh, the right hand side is l. Uh, uh, I minus PA, as you can check. So this prove our inequality. Okay, this prove the inequality we mentioned. Uh, we uh, to in the start of our proof, we we say that we want to prove this inequality. Now we have proved this inequality. Okay, so we have proved this inequality. Uh, not 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 very difficult. Okay. Now, having proved this inequality, similarly we have a similar inequality. Ah, for 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 lower sum, uh, the the two variable function f will not greater than the uh, integrating with respect to y, uh, become a function of x i minus. In a similar manner, you can prove that, uh. The upper sum of i plus will not greater than the upper sum of f. Okay, in a similar uh, using similar uh, argument, uh, but uh, the lower sum you 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 discuss the infinite. The for upper sum you use supplement, then you can obtain the reverse inequality. Okay.